Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Pentium X4 950 CPU, the new quad-core processor coming from AMD. This CPU at first glance it was great in my opinion, it's a quad-core CPU, it's based on the AM4 socket, so you can upgrade to a higher Ryzen CPU later, and it's still looking really good. You can easily get it to 3.8 GHz using AMD's Turbo Boost technology, and on top of that, it's the cheapest, best CPU you can get right now. Then you look at the benchmarks compared to a Pentium G4560, it's not that good, but it's, it's still still really good for the price. I will have really good minimums compared to a Pentium G4560 considering it's a quad core CPU while the Pentium one is a dual core hyper which makes it look more future proof in my opinion even though some of you don't like to use this word. But again it's not that good compared to a G4560. It is getting defeated in pretty much every game except the AMD titles. Some of the DX12 titles look like it had a chance. Even the GPU intensive game like Witcher 3 wasn't as good at the Pentium G4560. In some CPU intensive benchmarks it didn't perform that good but it was on par. But keep in mind that this CPU is based on a new architecture so that's why it doesn't perform as good as it should be. And the other reason being it's paired with a high-end GPU or what we should call it a mid to high-end GPU like a GDX 1060 or an RX 470 for example. Keep in mind the G4560 is right now for around $80 when you compare the price of a Phenom CPU plus a board combo with a G4560 plus a board combo you find them pretty much for the same price like for example a Phenom CPU with the cheapest board would be around $120 considering that you got the B350M one let's say $110 if you bought the A320M while a G4560 with an H110 board will cost about the same you'll have to update the bias revision of the board and some places like micro center do that for or you have to pay somewhere around five to ten dollars i guess it looks like amd would give you a better upgrade path coffee lake is right around the corner i mean if you bought the g4560 you will not be able to upgrade to any coffee lake cpu because it's in a different socket so that makes the x4950 in a good spot but getting back to our question is the phenom am4 cpu a waste of money well in a way yes if you don't mind getting a used cpu you will find your yourself getting a CPU equivalent to a G4560 for half the price right now I mean getting an i5-2400 for around $40 and pairing it with a really cheap board will make a really good uh, system but if you don't like getting used parts then the Phenom can be a good option for you but you know you can go straight to a Ryzen 3 processor but you are on a really tight budget then this is made for you other than that I wouldn't get it for me I would save some money to get a Ryzen R3 processor but let me know what you think down in the comments below I will leave a link to the CPU down in the description if you bought it from this link you would help me yeah so that's it thanks for watching subscribe like that video dislike if you didn't like it and share that video with your friends thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace